and welcome back to a brand new episode of Passion Beer. Uh, today we opened something from Nick's cellar for once. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is the uh, Sierra Nevada 30th anniversary. Uh, this is their Brewers Reserve Grand Cru, um, which is actually a blend of oak aged Bigfoot. Celebration Ale and some fresh hopped pale ale, I believe. Yep. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is coming in at 9.2% ABV. Should be a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah. It's, Hopefully. In order to celebrate their uh, 30th anniversary, uh, obviously. Uh, another nice thing that they point out on the label is uh, you can either enjoy it now or save it for your own anniversary uh, right. type deal. So, uh, it, it works well. Uh, I believe about 28% of this. <laughs> that <laughs> that was awesome. I'm telling you, that had so much force to it. That was crazy. I'm keeping that one on film, by the way. <laughs> so this puppy uh, has about 28% of uh, the L aged in, in bourbon barrels. Right. Uh, right where right. the other uh, 72% or uh, 68 or whatever the other portion of the beer is, uh, that L is uh, just fresh. Um, so, I mean, wow. I mean, as soon as you pour it, I'd even bring it up oh, to my nose and waft it. I mean, you definitely get a heavy malt type profile to it with uh, some dark fruits in there. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely a uh, nice... That's a nice looking color though. I mean, it's... Gorgeous looking... Uh, kind of like, like a, a mahogany um, coppery a, something. A really rustic, uh, rusty mm -hmm. mahogany type color there. I mean, absolutely gorgeous in the... The head is nice, foamy white. It is. It's I mean, nice, nice, lots wow. of tight and medium thickness bubbles. I mean, this one right off the bat. I mean, the aroma Did that you, you get. Them? No, okay. no, <laughs> not this one. Uh, I, I definitely get a nice fruity aroma yeah. uh, coming from this. It, it, when, when you bring it up to your nose uh, for for the scent, I mean, it's that fruity aroma that you get. It's not really as dominant with the malt as I expected it to be. But it is. But there, it, it, it's I mean, definitely it's there. there, and I feel like it, it, it's the backbone, but it's not the predominant flavor. Um, yeah, I kind of get like a, muddled, like a muddled, oaky bourbon character. I mean, it's not anything. It's not the forefront of the beer by any Absolutely. means. Absolutely. Um, but no, it's, it's got some interesting fruits to it. Cheers. Cheers. I think that's that has a, a lot going on. Wow. It really does. It, it definitely does. I mean, I, I was expecting like a little bit of more of a tartness tight to it um but wow i mean a lot of oak characters in there a lot of woody different elements in there uh it tastes absolutely fantastic i mean there That's is a really whole good. lot going on here it is it's kind of um, like you have to pick apart these flavors like for me up front it's got this really nice not really dark fruit but almost a dark fruit like quality and then in the finish it's really a lot of this woodiness this kind of a little hint of this bourbon flavor not not really overpowering not dominant by any means but uh, it's good it's weird it's I, good. I, I get the similar taste that you just described there Shane um, I also do get a small hint of hops in there yeah it's, it, a, it's, it's a, very subtle it's up front for me though. It, um, yeah. mine's kind of in the middle um, right before you go to that woodiness, that oak taste, mm -hmm. I mean, you definitely get a little bit of the hop flavor to it. I mean, it's very, very, uh, it's very, very good beer. I mean, it definitely talk has about, a lot. Yeah, exactly. Talk about a complex beer. I mean, it's got, this has got a lot of things going for it. And I think that's kind of to be expected for a beer that's blended like this. You know what I mean? I mean, you're taking three different, uh, essentially three different beers uh, blending them in and then you're even doing a barrel treatment in a portion of it yeah. uh, you know and then blending that in with the fresh beer i mean it's it's really good it's uh would you have this a month a month two month and a or half so? or so i had it sitting down in the side i mean so. i'm not sure when this was released but i mean for it, it still has it, it still retains that ho those hop qualities which is kind of surprising and a i like absolutely. it though, and I th it might have to do with uh i, I think this one was uh dry hopped uh, yeah, dry hop. It is okay. So I think that has some some to do with it. Um, no, but uh, that's crazy good though. No, it's this really is, good. It's, this it's is a nice zipper. Fantastic. You know? I mean, they they hit a home run on this. Uh, Sierra Nevada always has some solid beers. Yeah. Um, but nothing this complex. I don't think I've ever had from them. No. So and both of us, well, together we've got the barley wine and the imperial stout. So those are going to be interesting to see if the Grand Cru. Kind of set a pretty good stage for these 30th anniversary beers. I'm looking forward to trying those. Absolutely. Uh, you know, for what it is, uh, it's really, really good. I mean, I, I like a lot of these qualities. I like the wood elements. I like the bitterness. I like the hoppiness. 
um, and I like these fruity flavors. Um, for me, this is going to be a 90. I, I think it's really, really well done. Um, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I'm going to clock in a little bit higher once again. No, uh, no, that's, definitely a that's 93. Um, I love how complex this beer is. It, there's no way you can be bored trying this beer out. No, I mean, no. it definitely has something that everyone will love in here. And I mean, absolutely fantastic. I think it's blended perfectly. Uh, definitely hats off to Sierra Nevada and the brewers over there. They did a fantastic job. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Just phenomenal. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying another one. So Absolutely. definitely 93 for me. Awesome. Well, Nick, thank you for busting this one out of your hey, cellar. Not a problem. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.